this video is not for everyone. I know a lot of people wouldn't want to go through the stress of creating their own mockups. There are several mockup sites like Placeit, Freepik, Smart Mockup, where you can get free mockup and use for your next project. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create your own mockup with just shadows for presentation. In this video, we are going to delve deep into applying shadows and highlights where you can transform other mockups into your own mockups and match it to your taste so you can use for your next presentation. First and foremost, we have a new document. Then we are just going to copy, we are going to place the files. So file place embedded and we are going to select this item. We select the next one, so we place. Now we are just going to put this layer off. Right click and convert to smart object. Ctrl T. And we are going to reduce it, we transform it. We can bring this layer back. We right click and convert to smart object. We are going to rotate this. And we position this and make it smaller. That's okay. We are just going to grab the rulers and position it this way. We are just going to grab the ruler and position it this way. If you don't have rulers, just press Ctrl R on the keyboard and you have them up here. So we are going to bring this layer back and we are going to position it properly. To adjust it, make it bigger just a bit. We select it, Ctrl T, we right click and we are going to warp this. That's enough. And we are just going to clear all the guides. We have this layer right here. We are going to put it off. We grab the polygonal lasso tool and we are going to create a selection. So we are just going to create a selection this way. Once we have the selection, we can bring this layer back and we are going to create a mask. With this layer selected, we are going to create a hue and saturation adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We are just going to take it to the extreme. Now we are going to adjust the lightness. So we are just trying to match this. Now we are just going to put this layer off. Press Ctrl Alt Shift E. It's not really necessary to select all the layers. So we press Ctrl Alt Shift E to merge all layers into one. We right click and convert to smart object. And we are going to be applying exposure adjustment layers. We are going to be painting some shadows and highlight. With the max selected, Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft hand brush. We are going to reduce the opacity and set foreground to white. So we are going to set foreground to white so that we can paint because black is used to erase. So we are just going to paint some shadows. I'm going to create another exposure adjustment layer clipped onto the layer. We want the effect on the layer. With a max selected control I to invert. it. Now we are going to be painting some shadows. This is for highlights with the max selected control I to invert.
Now we are going to grab the polygonal lasso too. So we are going to create a selection this way. Once we have a selection, we are going to create a new layer right here. Right click on the selection. We are going to set our foreground to black, foreground to white and background to black. So we right click on the selection and we are going to fill it with the foreground color white. Then we are going to set the blend mode to overlay. With this layer selected, we are going to create a max. Grab a soft arm brush. We are just going to zoom in and try to erase it. So we are setting our foreground to black and we are just trying to erase it. This actually needs to be saddled. Ctrl Z to undo. We are just going to erase it and it needs to be saddled. Yes, this actually makes a lot of difference. So we have it right there and that's good. Now with all these layers in place, the background is still off. We are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers again. We are going to select all these layers, Ctrl G to make a group. And with this layer selected, we are going to convert it to a smart object. Let's grab the polygonal lasso too. And we are just going to create a selection this way. And we are going to create a new layer and drop the layer right here. With the layer in place, we are going to right click. So we are going to fill that with this shade right here. Ctrl D to deselect. We are going to right click and convert to smart object. With the layer selected, we are going to create a max. So we are just going to max out this portion. But I'm no longer using the brush, so we are going to use the pen tool to create a selection. So we create a selection by pressing Ctrl Enter. Then with the max selected, we press Alt Backspace on the keyboard to fill the selection with the foreground color black and that is hidden. So we create a selection. By joining the point, we are just going to press Ctrl Enter to create a selection. With the max selected, we press Alt Backspace on our keyboard to fill that. Now this is in place and we are going to be applying shadows and highlights onto it. So we are going to pose our adjustment layer with the max selected Ctrl I to invert and we are going to paint some shadows. Our foreground color is set to white so we are going to be painting some shadows. So I'm going to create an exposure adjustment layer with a mask selected Ctrl I to invert. We grab a soft tan brush and we are going to paint shadows or highlight. And we are going to be painting by setting our foreground to white. I mean setting our foreground color to white. Reduce the opacity.
we create a new layer, we grab the polygonal lasso tool, and we are just going to create a selection this way. So we are going to fill that with the foreground color white. Then we are going to reduce the opacity. The layer selected, we create a max and we are going to be So we are just going to set our foreground color to black and we are going to be erasing this portion. We increase the opacity. We make the brush bigger by the right bracket here. We are just going to erase this. Now we are going to select all these layers, Ctrl G to make a group, Ctrl J to duplicate, so we have a copy, we convert this to smart object, and all that is left is we are going to put this onto a background and apply more shadows to match the color. After several tweaking and adjustment, this is what we finally have. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, stay creative.